product uh, improvement, 1.4 activity is due. There are about nine people that turned it in, um, and you did a great job. Um, everybody had pictures submitted. That was awesome. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to say was 12 of you have not turned in the deep dive. 12 of you. So um, we're going to start ramping it up a little bit. And uh, like I said, you, you need to get your assignments in on time. So that being said, let me share my screen. And what we're going to talk about today is a little bit related to the product improvement assignment that you did. So we are going to go, we're still in lesson, uh, in unit one, and this is actually the last thing we're going to do in unit one, in the design process unit. Um, it is 1.9, design innovation. So in your little practice assignment, you, um, uh, picked a plain product and, and enhanced it somehow. This activity is going to have you create a presentation. I'm um, using PowerPoint or Google Slides, it doesn't matter. Uh, and you will submit that to Canvas. And um, that presentation is going to trace the evolution of a product over time. How a product has changed and evolved. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you an example. Um, there's an example in the resources tab. Oh, and by the way, um, um, I will stop sharing right now and then go back to sharing um, and just have to click on that little button to keep people in line who simply have no self-control. But um, that's okay. So you're going to go to the resources tab, but also what I want to tell you is some of you are still using this assignment on the assignments tab. That is not your assignment. That is not your assignment. Um, if you want to continue to do that, I will just stop sharing. I will stop sharing and then nobody will be able to see the lesson. So the next time it happens, I'm not going to share my screen anymore. So one more chance. Um, so don't use the assignment on this tab. Don't use the assignment on this tab. Go to the resources tab. Okay. Now on the resources tab, this is the example that I'm going to go through with you. It's, it's very short, but I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through it. These are the, do the documents that you're going to need to complete the assignment. Right here is 15 rules for creating a PowerPoint presentation. Um, if you open those up, you will see 15 just general rules for creating PowerPoints. I expect you to read these. I'm not going to read them to you. You know how to read. So um, that's there for your reference. The assignment, I'll open up the assignment and show you exactly what you're going to do, and then I will walk you through the example. So what you're going to do in the procedure, so you're going to pick an invention. You can pick any invention you want. And let me remind you, this is not a team project. This says your team, but you will not be working on a team. You will be working individually. So individually, because of our situation, individually, you are going to pick an invention. It doesn't have to be on this list. These are just some ideas. You're going to pick something, and uh, you don't have to record it here because you're going to you're going to submit a presentation. In number three, it gives you some information 
that you need to research. I'm going to, uh, this Google Doc, I think, is my old one, but I'll, I'll input the new one in just a minute. But the bullets here list the things that you need to research about your invention. And then this says make a PowerPoint. In that PowerPoint, you will have a slide with your name and your invention. You will have addressed the nine points above. You will have listed the disciplines of engineering most important to that invention. And you will provi provide a reference page of at least four internet sites in APA format. I have a tutorial for putting sources in APA format, which will I, I will put that on the home page. I will actually put it um, we've got an open block. Yeah, there it is right there. I will put that link right here. That's a tutorial how to create your citations in APA format. It's very easy. So just watch that, that tutorial for instructions. Um, now I want to go back and just quickly go through the example to give you a better idea of what you're expected to turn in. Resources tab. All right, so this is the um, presentation, or you can look at the Google Slides. I'm, I'm just going to open the presentation. Okay, this is an example, example, exemplar uh, of what you're going to be doing. So this is just an idea for you to follow, not copy, but just follow. So this is just a little timeline of the evolution of an automobile. You can include a timeline if you, if you want to, um, if you can find one, or you can create one yourself. Um, this is just a, a picture of, you know, why, why would we change things? Why would you want to create a watermelon that was cubic call instead of round. Well, there are a lot of reasons to do that. Um, one of which is to um, save room when you're stacking stuff. They will stack better than, than these round watermelons. Also, I don't know when the last time any of you saw a key to a hotel room. Everything has, it has a key card now, and the advantages of that are are obvious. So what we're going to do is look at the toothbrush. How has the toothbrush evolved over time? So here's the first toothbrush according to this presentation. It tells you who and when this was invented. It tells you what uh, it was called a chew stick, and then we jumped to 1498 and talked about China evolved to using bristles. Okay, so that was a major evolution. Um, they used the hairs from a hog's neck attached to, um, sorry, attached to a bamboo stick or handle. So that's when, where, what, materials. Um, and then we jump to 1850 and 1885. Uh, this talks about the fact that American soldiers, theoretically, I, I don't know if this is true or not, um, were taught to brush their teeth. 
during the war and um, brought that habit back with them. So then came the um, then came the development of nylon bristles. So that uh, was 1938. Who discovered it? Um, there's a picture there of nylon bristle toothbrush. And then we jumped to 1960, the electric toothbrush. Um, this says the technology was developed in 1939, but in the United States, it was first commercialized in 1960. And then we moved from the electric toothbrush to the Sonicare uh, system. And this talks about ergonomic design. Ergonomics refers to making things more comfortable and easy to use. So the kind of toothbrushes that you see now are kind of like what they were talking about in the deep dive. The toothbrushes with the really squishy handles that are supposed to be more comfortable to hold and the different shapes of the brush heads. Um, so uh, in San Jose, this guy invented the first toothbrush with soft and rounded nylon bristles. That was the Oral-B. So here is the old style versus the new style. And then this is a little toothbrush that I think was probably created for kids and it plays a little tune um, that supposedly is the, the child is supposed to brush their teeth till the tune is over. So those are some advancements. This is a reference. This is in APA format right here. Your references should be in APA format. Now, the last thing I want to show you is, let me move this. When you go to this assignment, you won't see it um, in the resources tab, but it's in the assignments tab. There's a rubric that goes along with this assignment right here. This is how I'm going to grade it, All right? The highest grade you can get is an 80. The lowest grade you can get and be on time is 48. And this is out of 80 points. So this is specific citations in APA format. At least three, you get full credit. At least two, you get eight points. At least one, you get six points. If you have no citations in APA format, you get zero points. Um, how does it impact the society and the world? Your improvements over time, changes in processes and materials, the engineering disciplines involved, um, the description, what is it? What is it? Uh, when was it first invented and where? This is about the first, the first appearance of the product. And a cover page with your name. I already talked about that. And images. It says relevant and descriptive images. Descriptive images. Um, don't plaster your presentation with pictures, but make sure you have enough that it's interesting. I think that that example could have used more um, images. And then last, did you follow the 15 rules in the PowerPoint? Um, 15 rules of PowerPoint that I put there for your reference. Did you follow those rules? So you can refer to this great, this rubric to see how you're going to be graded for this assignment. Um, so I'm going to stop sharing my screen and I'm, I will immediately after we get off this Zoom, I will put that link uh, right here for the tutorial on how to put your sources in APA format. Now this assignment, I'm giving you two class periods to do. It is not due Tuesday, it's due Thursday, because um, it may take a little more time than the other things that I had to do. And we're not having any new lesson on Tuesday. So 
this is this is going to be due on um, 